Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Seerah, and much more. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. As-salatu wa salam ala Rasulullahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Bishrah li sadri wa yassil li amri. Wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Inshallah, today I will talk about a few ayat from Surah Yunus. Even though uh, the surah is after Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam, named after him, but he's only mentioned in one ayah in the surah. The story of Yunus alayhi salatu wa salam is actually mentioned later on in the Quran. What I will talk about today, uh, start off with Allah Azza wa Jal uh, challenges the people with the Quran as the miracle for, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then I'll quickly talk about a small story of Musa alayhi salam and Fir'aun, which is mentioned in Surah to Yunus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Yunus, أَمْ يَقُولُونَ افْتَرَاهُ قُلْ فَأْتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِّن مِثْلِهِ وَدُعُوا مَنْ اسْتَطَعْ مَنْ اسْتَطَعْتُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ صدق الله عليه In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying about the Quran, because the kuffar of the Mecca, they were referring to the Quran as if Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is making it, he's, he's learning from somebody and making it up. It's a creation of a person. Allah is saying, do they say that the Rasulullah sallallahu has himself composed the Quran? Say, in that case, bring forth just one surah like it. it says only bring one surah. As a matter of fact, the challenge started off with, with the, bring a book like it, then bring, bring ten surahs like that, and then it reduced to only one surah. And we know the surah can be only three ayahs, like in Atayna Kal Kawthar Fasalli Li Rabbika Wan Harin Nashaniya Kahulapta. That's a surah, that's a chapter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is challenging the people to, to the mankind, bring everybody together, bring, bring one surah like that. And until today, nobody has ever been able to bring a surah like that. I want us to make sure that this was the miracle of the Quran. It is in the language, it is the structure, the way the Quran is structured. Even though Quran does talk about many scientific things, does talk about some of the things that happen in the future, including the story that I'm going to talk about as well. But those are not referred as the miracles of the Quran. The true miracle is the miracle in the language. This is why Allah Azza wa is challenging. This is the definition of the mu'ajiza or the miracle that you challenge with it. And that's the way the prophets did. And we know the way Musa alayhi salatu wasalam did as well. As he was given the miracles like the staff or asa, they used to turn into a, uh, into a big snake. Or his hand will go uh, wide without any kind of a disease or something on his hand. So, later on in the surah, Allah Azza wa actually talks about the story of Nuh alayhi salam, story of Musa alayhi salam, and how the nations of, the, of Nuh alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salam, uh, the one who rejected them, as the Prophet, they were destroyed. And when it comes to the story of Firaun, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about that, and we have talked a little bit before in the past, so don't have to go into detail of that. But when uh, the army of Firaun was after, the soul, uh, after Musa alayhi salam and uh, Bani Israel, and there was sea on one side, and Firaun and his army was on the other side. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about that story like this. وَجَاوَزْنَا بِبَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْبَحْرَ فَاتْبَعْهُمْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَجُنُوذُ بَغْيًا وَعَدُوْ حَتَّى إِذَا أَدْرَكَهُ الْغَرْقُ قَالَ آمَنْتُ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا الَّذِي آمَنَتْ الَّذِي آمَنَتْ بِهِ بَنُو إِسْرَائِيلَ وَأَنَا مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Here, when uh, the situation was like that, and uh, we, the, the ayah says that we led the children of Israel across the sea and Fir'aun and his host pursued them uh, uh, after them for transgression 
until Fir'aun cried out while he was drowning, I believe that there is no God but Allah in whom the children of Israel believe. And I am also one of those who submit to Allah. When he was drowning at that time, he started saying that. Allah subhanahu says, Al-an wa qad asayta qablu wa kunta min al mufsideen That now you believe, although you disobeyed earlier and were one of the mischief maker. فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً وَإِنَّ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ عَنْ آيَاتِنَا لَغَافِلُونَ We shall now save your corpse that you may serve as a sign of warning for all for, uh, future generations. Although many men are heedless of our signs. Now this, even though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about in the Quran that was revealed to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than 1400 years ago. And the body of Fir'aun was not found until the turn of the 19th century. Sahaba were not saying that we did not see the body. How can we say that this is true? They believed because the mu'ajiza again was not in that thing that body of Fir'aun will be found. Rather the mu'ajiza of the Quran is in the language. That's, this is number one thing to remember. Now the other thing is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned the story of Musa alayhi salam and Nuh alayhi salam in Surah Yunus. And in both cases we see the one who rejected the prophets, they were destroyed. As Allah Azza wa Jal says that عَقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ عَقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ The aqibah, the ending is for the mutaqeen, the one who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by the way, it's not necessarily only talking about the day of judgment. Even on the face of the earth as well. Allah has promised that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the authority to the believers. So we should not, you should not get, sometimes people get scared or they get overwhelmed when we look at the power of Karan Fara'in. Because the Fir'aun was a person, true. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned as an icon. These people still exist. The people like Fir'aun still exist. People like Namrud still exist. People like Abu Jahl. People like Abu Lahab. These are the characteristics Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in the Quran. And the very similar people are still coming up. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he's mentioning these stories, he's telling us, look, that the aqibah, the ending, is in the favor of the believers. They are the one who will be victorious. So we should not be overwhelmed or thinking of, I can't do anything, look, they have all the powers. We have to think of this way, instead of thinking that they will stop us to do the da'wah of Islam, we should think of other way actually. We should not even think of what they are going to do. Yes, we can uh, uh, we should be aware of it. We should think of this. We have the haq that we have to, pro- to provide to the people, even the Fir'aun of today. Look, uh, Musa والسلام, was sent to Fir'aun to take the message. He did not say just because he is very powerful, so he's not going to go to him. No, he still took the da'wah to Fir'aun even. Forget about the people who are under Fir'aun. So, the Islam Allah Azza wa Jal has given to us we should not keep it to us thinking that if I don't carry this message, then I will be protected. If I don't carry of the message of Islam to the mankind, we will be held accountable in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what we should think of. We should think of, I, we have the haq, and we want to provide to the people. Not to just think of, because of the consequences, I am not going to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked me to do. So that's the way we should look at Fir'aun came and he's gone and now today he is as a ibra for the mankind. There's a lesson. Allah has made his body as a lesson. The picture I said, send it to you guys. Two of the brothers I know, one of my uncle, my blood related uncle, and another very close friend. They have seen the body of Fir'aun and they have mentioned to me, even though it's thousands of years old body, you look at him and you feel like he's just sleeping. 
If you look at the picture, this is unfortunately my printer was running out of ink, but it's online is available. The hair are still on his head. You can see that. Even the eyelashes you can see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned about that. That we will protect his, preserve his body. For what? So there will be, this will be a sign for the future generations who will see and get the ibra out of it. The one who are ghafiloon, the one who are not paying attention, the heedless ones. So even the one who are acting like Fir'aun and the one who are following the Fir'aun of today's time. There is, a, there is a sign for them and there is a sign for the one who believe in this book as well. So we understand that no matter what, the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prevail. Whether we are part of that process or not, Allah will make this deen victorious. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those, the one who will make the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala victorious again. And make, make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa make us the ones who will carry this message of Islam to the mankind and show them the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So people can see it. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran tafsir, and sirah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe. Share and tell a friend about IslamPodcast.com.